Who can prove this is white with skirt? Oh, yeah, believe it. Our white friends have it. Yes. Everyone. Are they going to lie now? No, I said about white. Watch this. I don't know. He's going to drop. Watch this. Now, his part, I'm going to his question now. He said, who are we? Now, I wanted those scriptures on color first. That's to prove that the lies perpetrated in the earth, that these white people are the Jews, is false. Solomon was black. Job was black. Jesus is black. They're Jews. You're making a point now. The point is right. But now you're creating more problems between black people and white people. No, no, no. Something okay, watch this. Watch, just listen. Watch this. Give me Matthew 10, 34. I'm going to show you. Watch this. Watch this. He says, I'm making problems now. Hey, if I steal, watch this. Where are you from? Syria. You're from Syria. Okay. America has gone in and bombed Syria recently, right? I know. All, all I met him. Watch, watch this. Hey, watch this. Watch this. Listen, bear with me. They bombed Syria, right? They said, okay, we're going to get a foot in there. We're going to have a fortress. We're going to take all the oil. Now, you're broke and poor. You have nothing. No, right? we don't talk so about that. Shh. Talk to him. They steal everything from you, right? Now, you jump up and say, hey, Mr. America, you bombed us. You're stealing our resources. And America says, you're causing problems now. You're causing division. Uh, Okay, the point between America and Syria is right, which is something I really respect about you guys, what you're saying about America is just right. The point is, when you say that Jesus is black, and yeah. the white people are not truly Christians, they're not, not truly Muslims, they're not. Not, not truly Jewish, that's wrong. Oh, it's wrong. That's really wrong. Watch this, watch this. I'm looking, wait, 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 what's your name? What's your name? Omar. Omar. I asked everybody out here, what was the judgment for slavery? You see, nobody wanted to answer. I think one white guy didn't ran down the street. Really? There's a judgment for all these people like him. There's, you destroyed him. These three over here, they're destroyed. Really? There are a lot of people that's been destroyed, and there's a judgment that's coming. And guess what? You see this young man right here walking? He has never paid for his crimes. Never. His race, his aunt has never paid for How do I know? If I steal from you and you catch me, what should I say? I think, I'm sorry. What should I do? If I have your wallet, give me your wallet. Pick up your wallet. Watch it. I steal from you now, right? Yeah. And then I say to you, you know what? I'm sorry. I stole your wallet. What should I do? Give me back my, my wallet. Thank, Thank you. you. So now, the white man, America, they stole the land of America. 1492. Took the whole continent. Took North America, Central, South, Canada. Then they said, oh, we're Christian. Then they brought in the slave trade. Chase Bank, uh, Apple Bank. They all said, oh, we're sorry. And they, they do nothing to show. That's true. Do you understand? That's true. Of course, of course, that's true. So now we bring up God's judgment. How come you only understand when it's dealing with Syria, but you don't understand it's dealing with us? I understand everything you say. You understand everything? Yes, and I'm I'm like 100% with you guys. Okay, that's good. I'm glad you said that. Where are we going, Captain? Not to say. Right, watch this, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Read that. Matthew chapter 10, verse 34. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. Christ said, think not that I'm come to send peace on earth. A lot of you think Jesus is coming to send peace on earth. Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace, but a sword. Remember what Jesus Christ said, I come not to send peace, but a sword. Meaning judgment shall come down on all, every nation that had a hand in destroying our people. Judgment is coming. You can smile. You can joke it off. You can go to sleep and say, it's not going to happen. Oh, it's going to happen. Everything, I'm going to show you how true the Bible is. Give me Deuteronomy 28. Some of you don't believe the Bible is a true book. I'm going to prove the Bible is a true book. It's the only true book. No. And some, watch this. I'm going to show you. Just listen. Just listen. So you don't want to listen. I'm going to show you something happy. I know it's Muslim. Now you see, you see the, hey, hey, go ahead. You see the giggling, giggling Mormons over there, right? The giggling Mormon, Mormons in their book, the book of Nephi, chapter 5, says God cursed white people and turned them black on earth. That's in their little stupid book by Joseph Smith. What you say? In their book, it says that we are cursed and our skin turned black. Now watch this. I'm going to show you. It's not the Native American Indians only that are the Israelites. It's the ones who enslaved during the transatlantic slave trade. I'm talking to the Mormons. Let me do some Mormons. The ones your ancestors enslaved, in slavery, you know that, right? They're the Israelites. I'm gonna prove it right now. Deuteronomy 28, 15. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. 
And it says, but it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Who is Moses speaking to? The 12 tribes of Israel. What are the curses that came with the 12 tribes of Israel? When we read these curses, you're going to find out who the Israelites are. Everybody listening. Let me finish dealing with the Mormons. Read verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Who were we given to? We were given into the hands of these so-called white people. As slaves in Germany, France, Europe, America, we were given into your hands. Read it again. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people, and thine eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. When you took our sons and daughters from us, you sent some to France, some to Germany, some to Amsterdam, some to America, some to Brazil. And we had no might to re reunite our families again. You white people totally destroyed us with your hatred. You did an excellent job destroying us. Read that part again. And fail with longing for them all the day long. And there shall be no might in thine hand. There shall be no might in your hand. Do white people in Israel have might to go after the German? What do they call the German or The ones that... The SSO, yes. The white man in Israel, this is good, has power with Mossad to go around and hunt down German war criminals. And it's good, that's fine. But do black people have power to hunt down those that make crimes against them? No, that's right. no that's right. You have been a fugitive from justice from your inception. I'm talking to you white folks now. You've never paid for the evils you've done on the earth. And this is what God's talking about. Read on. Verse 33. Verse 33. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. What's that talking about? Colonialism. It's talking about colonialism. Read it again. The fruit of thy land and all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up. Is Germans in Africa? Yes. France is in Africa. America is in Africa. Israel's in Africa. Doing what? Stealing all the resources. Read it again. The fruit of thy land in all thy labors shall a nation which thou knowest not eat up, and thou shalt be only oppressed and crushed always. So you black people, now I wonder why you're always oppressed? Because God said we would only be oppressed always. Why? Who is he speaking to? The Israelites. Who are we? The Israelites. I don't care if you call yourself Cameroon, Ugandan, Sierra Leone. We were scattered everywhere. Read on, verse 48. Verse 48. Verse 48, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. Listen good to black men. Therefore what? Shalt thou serve thine enemies. The Bible calls these white people what? Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. We've been serving you white people for over 400 years. That's and the right. Bible doesn't call you our friends. I might like some of you personally. I might like you. But that doesn't change what God says about you. Read it again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. If I want food, I got to go to Germany. The German people are leading the country. Read. And in thirst. If I want water, I got to go to you. And in nakedness. If I want clothes, I got to go to you. And in want of all things. If I want anything, education, I got to go to Europeans to get education. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Now you will ask the question, is the Bible a real book? What do you see in these photos? Yokes of iron, on who? The black man and black woman. What of us prove? We the Israelites. Anybody that says they're Jewish, you don't fit none of these curses we read in the Bible. When do white people have yokes of iron on? Where in history did you have yokes of iron on your necks? 